details on a story we shared back in September about a woman's desperate search for answers. Her husband was killed at the Federal Transfer Center in Oklahoma City. Ashley Moss has been following it and she has more. Ashley. Well, Jonathan Patterson's autopsy report suggests he was beaten beyond recognition and it continues to raise questions about what happened and who's responsible. Oh, my love. Morning. I love you. My husband was supposed to be home in less than a year. It's been six months since Jonathan Patterson was murdered in prison. Abby clings to her memories to disguise the painful details about his death. He said, babe, my Sally walks back and forth and talks to himself. And that was really disturbing to me. And now we're here. Second degree murder charges were recently filed against that cellmate, but the more information Abby gets, the more questions she has. If this person had had a weapon, how did he get it? Why did it take till after 9 a.m. for them to find my husband? Where were these guards? I feel like someone turned a blind eye. While the autopsy report points to blunt force trauma to his head and neck. There were no defensive wounds. His wrist was fractured. His skull was crushed. I just didn't know what, what would cause that kind of a damage. Even the mortician said it's hard to believe that the beatdown came from just one person. It was severe. I mean, it was his, his whole face of the whole front was completely collapsed. Abby doesn't entirely blame the man accused of murder. The person was schizophrenic. And the person that actually found my husband was trying to help him obtain his medications because they were denying him his meds. But she wants, she needs, Jonathan's death to be accounted for. They should be kept safe. And when their time is done, they go home. That's not the case here. He's not coming home. Now, as you heard, one man has been charged with second degree murder for Jonathan's death. In an email, the Bureau of Prisons said they can't share specifics about the cause of death for any inmate. Well, we know